This is my CZ97B. Uh, this is the CZ and the 45 ACP. It is known as the big bore brother to the 75B series. Uh, this pistol, if you are a fan of the 45 and a fan of CZ, this is kind of a marriage made in heaven. You get both of those features. Uh, this is CZ's first uh, model in 45. And if you look around, uh, this is becoming very hard to find right now. I know you were saying that about every CZ these days. We're calling everything a unicorn. And, and typically they, they are pretty hard to find. But if you look at the usual places where you could find these you know, pretty often, if you look at GunBroker and other sites, you usually could find you know a good bit of them, 10 or 12 or so anytime. Uh, on GunBroker, um, even you know a year ago, but now uh, I looked on GunBroker in these last few days, and there's like three or four of them on there. Uh, they're really they're kind of drying up. CZ still manufactures them. They're they're on their website. They show in stock if you go look on CZ. But I don't know um, what uh, focus they're putting the manufacturing of these pistols. I don't know if uh, they have a real priority for these. We know CZ is very nine millimeter friendly uh, they're not very friendly to the 45 really or the 40 and for those who long for a 10 millimeter ncz uh, we often look to other manufacturers that are cz clones to get those 10 millimeters you know cz's focusing on their bread and butter and that is the 75 type pistols uh, newer models like the the p10 and so i'm just wondering if uh if really these 97s are going to be continue to be manufactured, uh, I mean, they may very well be if uh, CZ is making enough money from these. But uh, it wouldn't surprise me in the not too, too near future if they did discontinue the line. I hope not. And uh, I hope uh, five, ten years from now um, we have CZ 97s all over the place and they catch on and CZ starts manufacturing more of them. But uh I would say if you were looking at this pistol and you had interest in getting one and you were putting it off or maybe you were deciding between this and a PCR or, you know, maybe that P10 you're looking at, uh, you might want to go ahead and snag one of these because I, I don't know uh, how easy they're going to be able to get. Um, they're really, they have really dried up probably more than any of the other uh, normal, you know, run-of-the-mill CZs. I know they're all hard to find, but uh, these seem to be on that harder side of the CZ scale to find. And this is a very interesting pistol. This is the the B. It does have a counterpart of the Decocker model. It also has, there's probably what passes as a unicorn, there's a glossy blue variant uh, that is a very pricey, you know, fairly high dollar if you want a, something that's really hard to find and has a, more of a collector's value. But if you can get hold of any of these, uh, whether it's uh, this model or the Decocker model, whatever, you may want to snag one. It's very unique. The first thing that pops out at you is the pistol is really big. It's a really large pistol. This is this is kind of big even for a lot of forty fives. And that's got a lot of upside, maybe some negatives too, but the pros to that is it's so big, it's so heavy, that it's got very little felt recoil and very little muzzle rise. This is a very soft shooting 45. A couple other features that it has, it does have that screw in barrel bushing. It comes with a little tool. Uh, just in case you get uh, get it stuck, I wouldn't say that happens to many people, but just in case there was someone that may have happened to have got that stuck on there before, it has a handy little tool to help you with that. It does have a loaded chamber indicator. As you can see, this is not a loaded weapon. I don't keep any loaded weapons on the table for any reviews or anything else. Um, a couple other features. It has the aluminum thin grips this is to thin up that grip 
and it has also, let's see there, fiber optic front sight, and this has a really nice sight picture. The profile on this is really, really nice. Very accurate shooting pistol. And it does put me in mind that CZ, at least for this model, did go for kind of that range gun uh, function. It does work really well as a range gun, but it also works very well as an overall self-defense pistol or anything you want to do with a pistol. I know people carry this and uh, they say there's no reason why they couldn't carry it. For a lot of people, it may be too big, but uh, that's to each their own. Uh, things I want to point out on this in particular, I will go on record as saying of all the regular service type CZs that I have, you know, the PCR, the PO1, SPO1, all those, anything other than like the shadows or those true, you know, target, you know, type guns, this has probably the absolute best, smoothest trigger of any of those service style guns that I have as far as the CZs go. It is so smooth that it almost feels like it doesn't have a firing pin block. It is that smooth. You can't usually about right there. I can start to feel that little lifter lifting up, and there's kind of like a little hiccup in most guns. And this don't really have it. I mean, I can't feel it. And I'm being honest. I mean, it it just kind of pulls straight through. Nice, super crisp, clean break. And this trigger, it pulls for me at right about eight pounds. And so it, it's on the lighter side. I mean, it, it's kind of like the poor man's shadow <laughs> two trigger. It's really that good. I mean, it's so smooth right there. It's got that nice little, kind of like that little revolver pull to it. And then super, super clean break. And also really nice crisp single action just an all-around good pistol um, Cajun Gunworks has what they call this E package and if you're not familiar it's basically it, it's kind of high dollar service um, it depends what you want to make out of the pistol but it's about 600 bucks and they will basically change this into a world-class type pistol and I've seen reviews where people have done that it's not cheap, but I can see where they build off of that. It, it's so good to start with. I can see with some of that Cajun magic that they can turn this into just a phenomenal world-class shooter. Just an awesome weapon. Uh, I'm familiar with their products for several of my other guns. And I don't know how many people do that, but they offer that service. And I'm sure the people who have it love it. And they just take it to that next level, and they actually compare it uh, sort of kind of to a 1911 style accuracy. And I can believe it because it's so soft shooting. It, it really, it really shoots kind of like a shadow, um, more that shadow too, because it's so heavy, and it's heavy in the right places. It, it just doesn't have really much felt recoil at all. You get on target really easily, and this, I just think if you've had your eye on it, this is one that you really might want to get your hands on. comes with two 10-round magazines. There's an older model out there. It has the wood grips, and I think it has the night sights instead of the fiber optic. It seems like it's set up more as a carry gun. And from my understanding, that is actually now the California compliant. I don't know all the specifics of you know, what makes it so, but I think that's what they sell for California. Uh, just probably the, just a super nice trigger it's smooth i mean it's big heavy it's it's nice it's got that nice black poly coat if you can get that glossy blue variant uh, let me know i'd like i'd like to see that thing it's it's sharp but uh it's really all i can say i'm stuttering on at this point but uh i just really think these are drying up and i'm hoping not i hope they keep manufacturing these for years to come maybe update them with a rail or something you know give them a a little bit of extra love, but uh, I don't know if they're going to do that or not. So grab one if you can. Shoot well and often.